Hi there, my name is Eddie, Multiman Services, and in this video we're going to discuss how to properly clean uh, vinyl, uh, aluminum, brick pavers, and the, a uh, you know brick. And so, uh, first of all, I'd like to discuss this vinyl fence here. Uh, it's got that green algae, a little bit of mold going on. So the safest and most effective way to get this clean without disturbing any of the oxidation or blasting away at it with high pressure or spending all day and forever brushing it down is we can apply a gentle detergent to that that's safe for the, the environment, your plants and the pets to you know get that algae to go away, let it dwell, or rinse it off with a high volume of water. And uh, the same thing goes for the uh, aluminum uh, gutters fascia and soffit here. Apply that detergent, let that dwell, rinse away all the bug guts, spider webs, make it look really nice. Sorry for all the rain. Uh, so back here, I'm looking at these pavers here, but I also see this pond. So the first thing I think about is koi's. If you have any fish in there, uh, we can only use pressure. Uh, we wouldn't want to use our concentrated detergent around your koi pond, because sometimes the pH of the water doesn't make them very happy. Um, so, and even sometimes when we use a high volume of water near the area, that even makes them a little distressed as well. So. Uh, but if you don't have anything living in there, or if you feel like transplanting them, uh, we can really get this whole entire patio back here looking really cool and nice. I'm going to head over to the front, and I'll give you the inspection there. So just before I got to the front, I noticed this fascia board here, where it's got these black streaks right here. It's actually not mold. It's uh, overspill or staining. Sometimes dirt, like, electrostatically charges itself to the front of gutters or, or, or soffits and the no amount of pressure or algicide that you put at it will get it clean it needs like a gutter whitening chemical and uh, when we go ahead and get your uh, your brick cleaned here we're going to use a concentrated detergent and of course we're going to make sure we don't get it any on your plants and uh, another thing we can do is make sure that we get this nice little um, brick uh, retaining wall not retaining wall divider it's kind of green kind of moldy right now uh, so we're going to uh, delicately apply our cleaner with shields and other ways to not get the cleaner on your plants and let the cleaner do the, the chert the work on that uh, nice winding uh, retaining wall there. And that way it'll look really nice and clean. We'll go ahead and give it a pressure wash after that. Some of your hostas might get a... A small haircut because they're just in our way when we're trying to pressure wash um, but hey, it's grass it grows back um, so this is our process uh, my name is Eddie multi-man services this is all we do it is low pressure house washing uh, roof maintenance gutter cleaning I did want to mention you know we, we have a lot of shade from this tree here we're getting a little of the lichen the moss on the roof right here and it's a good idea to, um, you know, treat that area right there, spot treat it with our algicide cleaner, get it dead. And then from there, what's going to happen is it'll actually look worse before it gets better. It'll look a little bit like cottage cheese, a little white and yellowish. And then um, let the hard rains wash it down over the next couple of months. And then we can put a mold inhibitor over your entire roof and that'll help prevent the black streaks you're starting to see on a lot of your neighbor's roofs. Uh, at your convenience, feel free to reach out to me and any questions you have with the proposal down below, let me know. You can reach us at 608-999-WASH. Thank you.